Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the Neighborhood Cookbook of 1914, we're going to be making walnut picnic sandwiches. You'll never guess what's in it. All right, to finely chopped walnuts, doesn't say how much, we add mayonnaise, doesn't say how much. Sufficient to make it a spreadable paste. Onto buttered bread, we lay a leaf of lettuce. And on the other side, our walnut mayonnaise mixture. And I hope this wasn't a spontaneous picnic idea because now it's got to go into the fridge for an hour. Okay, let's give this walnut picnic sandwich a go. At the end of the day, it's still just walnuts and mayonnaise and lettuce. There's really nothing special or unique about this. It's definitely gonna be a snack or a tea sandwich. There's no way someone would serve this to you for lunch. Um, I do want to plus it up just a little. I'm gonna add some of the zoog sauce. It's a cilantro, jalapeno, cardamom. It's a Yemeni kind of hot, spicy sauce. Okay, let's give this walnut picnic sandwich plus up with a little zoog sauce. Go. This is pretty good. So now the mayonnaise is providing a little richness. The walnuts a little crunch and nuttiness, and it's playing off the herbs and the spices in the zoog. I have to admit, I didn't think that was going to work as well as it did. All right, well, the original walnut picnic sandwich, um, they put it in the fridge to, to firm up for an hour. Sure, why not? I don't think it was that interesting. I'm going to give that a four. Um, plus up with the zoog sauce, that's kind of like a six. That's actually quite tasty right now. I'm definitely going to finish that. And now I can say I would make the plus up version again. I did not expect that. <laughs> Go figure. There's a great Zoog recipe over at SeriousEats.com if you want to make it yourself. All right. See you tomorrow.